All right, folks, we have here what's called a Permobil M5 blue in color. So the M5 is almost impossible to find. You're not going to see any out there. The M5 is the top of the line in mid-wheel drive with Permobil. This chair here will go up to seven miles an hour, so it has the high-speed motors. This chair, also the seat lift, not only does it go up to 14 inches, most chairs will only go up to 10 or 12, but this one goes up to 14 inches. Those are the two benefits of the M5, is the high-speed motors up to, up to seven and a half miles an hour. The seat lift going up to, uh, uh, <laughs> lost my train to talk to you. The seat lift going up 14 inches in height, okay? That makes a big difference, that extra two inch. So this chair here, uh, it's got 41 miles. It was used for about two months. As you can see, it's practically brand new. It has the aggressive tires on here. So it's got the outside tires, but you can also use this chair inside. Um, it is fully loaded. It has the 14 inch seat lift, the electric tilt, the electric recline, the electric feet. It has the light package on it, which I'll cover as we go along. It has all kinds of other custom parts on it. We'll go along, we'll, we'll check as we go along. So the first thing I want to show is the 14 inch seat lift. So all the functions to make the seat go back tilt can all be done through the joystick or through the switch box. I like to use this box right here because it's quicker for me. So I'm going to use the seat, the first button, I'm going to push it down and you'll see the seat start going up. You're going to start roughly at 22 inches. Okay. By the time you're all the way up, you'll be at 36 inches height. That's with that extra 14 inches, the top of the seat will be at up to uh, 36 inches high. This will enable you to get to the second shelf of your cabinet, do your dishes looking down. Uh, if you go to the movie theater, you can see over people's head. It has a lot of benefit. And also with a seat elevator, you can get out of the chair easier. You don't want to be getting out when it's this high, but you can raise the seat up five, six inches, and you can just about walk out of the chair because just by scooting to the end of the seat. So this is the seat lift. Let's look at the base while we have the seat elevated. You can see the, the, the tires are aggressive tire. I mean, they have knobs. This is your drive tires. These are 14 inch nuns. They will not mark your floor. You can see the rear tire here. It's, these are aggressive. These are custom tires, okay? These are not standard on this chair. These are person paid extra for these. So you have them all the way around the chair, okay? You have, you can see the actuator right here for the seat lift. You can see how the seat lift is built. You have an anchor point here and another one right here. This is where you secure your chair right here and back in here if you're going to transport this chair. you got four of these, two on each side. You have a suspension back here, which you can't see, but you can probably see if I push down on it. The reason these chairs have such a great ride, this chair weighs probably 435 pounds. 435 pounds, plus you have a 200 pound person, let's just say that's 635 pounds on these shocks. That'll give you a good ride, okay? That's how you get that fantastic ride with this chair. Now, if I want to push this chair right now, let me turn the chair around so you can see. If I wanted to push the chair, well, you can see it's not going anywhere, but if you had an issue with the chair, hopefully you'll never have an issue, but if you have an issue, you need to push it around to get it out of the way. These are your motors right here. See the reflector here and the reflector in front? Your motor starts this way and it winds up right in the middle of the hub right here, okay? But right on top of your motor, you see a little silver screw right there. There's a little handle. I don't know if you can see me move it. If you push that handle inward, that away, what that does, it unlocks the drive wheel. See how easy that was? Okay, so you have to do this motor here with that little handle there and this one here. And when you're done, let's see if we can put it this way. Put it back in gear. And the reason you want the power off, you want no resistance in the motor when you're pushing it around, okay? So that's your, <clears throat> that's your motors and that's your neutral levers, okay? Let's put the seat, the chair back here. I'm gonna bring the seat back down. Oh, one more thing. When the seat's elevated, as you can see, the chair will still drive at a crazy speed with a cheap, I can't go fast in here, but you can see where it really moves. So you can see with the seat elevated, you can still drive it. So as we go the seat down, I'm going to talk to you about the swing away joystick. See how I took that joystick from here to here. That's called a swing away joystick that enables you to get closer to a dining table without having to do this, which is very hard to do and drive the chair at the same time. But with the swing away joystick, 
you would put the joystick to the side of the arm and you would drive yourself all the way up to the table right here and this saves your joystick from being bumped and damaged okay so we're going to bring the seat all the way down the next feature we're going to go over is the call the electric tilt the electric tilt is when the base right here as you can see it right now the base is going back of course when the base goes back it's going to take the legs it's going to take the back because they're all connected together this is called your electric tilt so this is this position here is good if you want to take pressure off your body you want to have circulation you want to pay, take pressure off your lower back because all your weight will be sitting back here not on your rear on the seat okay the next thing i'm going to show you is called the electric legs now if you're five feet tall or six foot two we can adjust these feet all the way out as far as we need to to accommodate you so if you want some really good circulation this will be a little extreme but i want to show you how extreme you can get with your feet up in the air but now what i'm going to do is i'm going to bring the seat halfway down even if you're halfway tilted you can still have good circulation so right here i'm halfway tilted and you can see how your feet would still be higher than your body okay so so far we've covered the 14 inch seat lift the electric tilt the electric leg the last function is called the electrical recline the electrical recline is in the back right here just this portion here goes back by itself that's called the electric recline now if you have the recline on make sure this one's got a make sure nothing gets caught up in there matter of fact i don't recommend keeping the bag on once you're starting to recline it's starting to do stuff okay this chair does come with the backpack so you can see this is a full recline you're pretty much flat in this chair okay so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to bring the recline up and the legs down at the same time i'm hitting two buttons at once but if you want to do two two functions at one you can do it through the joystick with one knob right here okay when you're outside try to leave your legs out a little bit that gives you more room under your feet under your leg in case there's an obstacle on the sidewalk or something another thing you can do when you're outside if you think you, that's a little this these foot plates are quite a bit high but if you if you were tall we needed to put them down they'd be closer to the ground what you can do is tilt the seat back just a little bit if you tilt the seat back right here look at your legs tilt the seat back just a little bit look at the look at the height you have over there and you can still drive the chair all right this is a mid-wheel drive so the motors are in the middle this chair turns around its own length so what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring the legs in like if you were inside your home actually that's not going to work so you can leave the legs out a little bit because the wheel has to be able to spin in front see how the wheel spins in front so this is what it would look like in your home if you were going to turn in your house this chair turns in the middle of it turns on itself it does not move away from where it's at unless I don't do the joystick right but it stays in that same spot okay so the seat on this chair is a Rojo air cushion okay it is 16 by 18 but these chairs can be customized to your size so if you need an 18 you need a 20 21 we can put a bigger cushion we can make these frame larger we can change the cushion we can change the back now this one has a really really nice back it has kind of wing back so when you're sitting in the seat it keeps you in the middle of the seat okay there's a safety belt also and you have if you're left-handed we can put the joystick on the left side with no problem at all and right here on the left side you have a USB port so if you need to charge your, your phone there's your charger right here plug it right at the end of there you also have arms that flip up so if you transfer from the side you can just remove these pads and you can transfer on a board from side to side if that's how you transfer or if you get in from the front you won't have to do that these are lateral pads they keep your knees together keep your feet on the foot plate with these here your feet will not come off the foot plate and your knees will not get sideways and hit a door when you go through a door okay these are really nice also i told you earlier we have headlights and tail lights so you can see these are real lights on this chair you can see the headlights and you can see the tail lights right here okay and this chair also has 
hazards. It has the left flasher, the right flasher. So it's fully equipped with lights. The back of the chair, we have a backpack that comes with the chair. It's a, it's a zip up backpack. It's a real nice backpack. It comes with this chair. This chair, I'm gonna put the backpack on the ground for now. It also has hook for the backpack here. You have push bars back here. So if you need to push this chair, these are custom, the push bars. Also in the back of the chair, right over here, well, let me turn it around so we can see better. Right over here where my hand is, there's a power button. I'm going to turn it off. You see all the power went off. When we ship these chairs, we always turn the power off over here. So when you get it, you got to turn the power back on. And then you have to go back here and turn the power back on up front. Okay, now I, the lights are off because I had the, I had the power off. Okay. The, the headrest is fully adjustable. All these adjustments over here, you can adjust any position you want. When you charge this chair, you'll take your charger that comes with the chair and you'll plug the charger. Well, let's turn the lights off because they're a little bright. All right, so when you charge the chair, you plug it right here. And when the charger goes up to 100%, you're fully charged. The charger will stop charging once the batteries are full. Now, let's recap. What do we have here? We have a Permobil M5 dark blue color matching the frame, the wheels. It has the aggressive tires, like I mentioned to you earlier. It has the full lighting package. It has arm bags. It has the swing away joystick, the flip up arm, the lateral pad, the air cushion, the safety belt, the USB port, the adjustable headrest, the suspension. This chair is fully loaded. It has the 14 inch seat lift, the electric tilt, the electric recline, the electric feet. It has the high speed motors, seven and a half miles an hour, and the seat lift that goes up to 14 inches, and you can still drive the chair at a decent speed with the seat elevated. This is one of a kind. This is an expensive chair. These usually don't stay here very long, but we don't have them that often. So this is called the M5 fully loaded, top of the line, Permobil power chair. So folks, this is the M5. The speed that I saw in it was around 7.2 miles an hour. So, you know, you might get, it's between 7.2 and 7.5. So it's all, they're not always accurate. Uh, maybe when we change the batteries, you may get 7.4. These are older batteries in here for now, but this chair will go between 7.2 and 7.5. It has great suspension. Uh, and when you stop with the joystick, the chair brakes automatically because it has electromagnetic brakes. So even if you're going down a ramp, at whatever speed you're going down a ramp, it'll, it'll crawl, crawl that speed. Even if I'm going, let's just say you're going down a ramp and this is the speed you're going right here, which is barely, you can, let me rephrase that. This joystick right here, you can use as a gas pedal. You know how you make a gas pedal go faster and slower in a car? So if I just push it a little bit, look at that. So if you're going on a ramp, it will not go any faster than what you're going on your joystick, okay? Crazy nice chair. Now it's real bumpy out there, so but you still get a good ride even though it's so bumpy. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna raise the seat up and show you with the seat elevated right now, how the chair drives with the seat elevated. So remember, if you're gonna drive with the seat elevated, please, flat surface inside your home, malls, that's great. Um, if you do more than that, you're asking for trouble, okay? So I'm gonna raise the seat all the way up and I'll be at 36 inches. I mean, I'll be, I will be eye level with someone at 36 inches. So right now, the top of the seat, when it's, once it starts elevating, should be right at 36 inches. 
right now. That's 36 inches right here, okay? This is what it looks like if you're driving with the seat elevated. 3.2 miles an hour. So this chair will drive at 3.2 miles an hour with the seat elevated, okay? So this chair, as I said, is practically brand new. It has 41 miles. It was used two or three months. It has the headlights, the 14-inch seat lift, the electric tilt, the electric recline, the electric feet, the flip-up arm, the lateral pad, the USB telephone charger, the bags on both sides. It's, it's set up with the light kit from the factory, the aggressive tires, the backpack, the adjustable headrest, the swing-away joystick. This is for someone who wants the best there is out there and it has the high speed motors of seven and a half, up to seven and a half miles an hour. Great chair, you'd have fun with this chair. Hi, I'm Mark. And my name is Alex. We're co-owners of Mark's Mobility. I started this company in 1995. We sell many products, not just what you see in this video. If you have any questions or concerns, please call us at the number below at 800-677-6293. Thank you and have a wonderful day.